And now, hi everyone. Welcome to Beyond Beauty once again. This program is going to be so exciting because we're going to talk about something amazing. I don't know if some of you watch Miss Universe last night, but we have a new Miss Universe and we are very happy because this woman has a lot of power, a lot to talk about. She got that beyond beauty. We also have an amazing guest tonight. Her name is Denise Garrido, and I know many of you know her. I hope uh, many of you are connected. I hope Cindy uh, from Galaxy Pageant is connected because I know you have a lot of, you know, crew. <laughs> So we're going to be with Denise in some minutes. Thank you very much for being here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit for the ones who doesn't know what is the program about. Uh, here we talk about beauty, but we talk about um, something else, you know, not only beauty, it's something beyond that. We, all, we always have a guest and this guest that we have, she got something to tell you, something to teach you, something to uh, learn from, right? So it's motivational speakers. They are people with a meaningful life. And this is what we want to portray in this program, right? This is what is this about? Beyond beauty means that we are not only doing makeup because many people know me because I do makeup, I do hair. I do all the beauty things, right? Beauty um, say services. That's what my company does. We have a team, we provide services for weddings, for fashion shows, for um, beauty pageants, but we really like to know more about the girls who participate in these beauty pageants or fashion shows. We know these girls are humans, right? And we all have feelings and we all have something to show to people beyond that picture, beyond that makeup that we have, the dresses that we wear, we really want to show that. And tonight we're going to have our guests and then get ready because this is going to be exciting. We're going to talk about Miss Universe. What happened last night? It was very exciting. I am very um, touched about all the answers that she um, was able to give to the public because she was very smart and she was very well spoken and she was direct to the point when they um ask those questions to her we're going to talk about that later and we're going to commercials right now and we get back to you in minutes thank you so much mi nombre es mariana santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en canadá en mi compañía se llama santos y an associates immigration inc hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados, en la esquina de Kirk y Wilson, con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Hablando entre mujeres, tu programa que es diseñado para toda mujer que le gusta avanzar, que está esperando mucho más allá de ser tú misma. Hablando entre mujeres todos los días martes a las 7 de la noche, acompáñanos a tener una noche amena. So for you that you're listening, Hablando entre mujeres, Talking Between Women is the program you want to belong. Just come every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and we'll be gladly give you some details about women empowerment. We are here. We're back and we have Denise here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Denise, for being here. Thank you don't you. know how, how excited I am to have you here. Well, thank you. It's thank an honor to be here to be part of an empowering program. <laughs> Not just beauty, but beyond the beauty. Beyond beauty. Very important, I Very think. important. So, yeah, this woman here, she got a lot of things to tell. And we want to start, me personally, I want to start with something that... Um, I think it's a remarkable part of your life because this is when I met you. Yeah, I 2013. know. 2013. I'm ah. sorry, I'm old. <laughs> I know I'm old. <laughs> well, we're both that many years. <laughs> we're back to 2013 and we are Miss Universe Canada. What happened in 2013, Denise? 
Can you tell us a little bit? And yeah, so in 2013, I had competed in the Miss Universe Canada pageant. And so that night, I was crowned Miss Universe, Universe Canada. Canada. And I was just like, woo! -hoo! And then the next day, I'm having these photo shoots and video shoots. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be planning the rest of my year before I go to Miss Universe. And then that night, I had a meeting with the director. He's like, before you go to bed, I just want to meet to with you. you. And he had a meeting with me. And he said... Um, how was your day? And I'm like, oh, it was so great. And I'm just so excited. And, mm -hmm. and then he kind of continued on by saying, so uh, following day, we audit the scores. We just verify everything. And top five were actually all mixed up. And you're no longer the winner. It's uh, actually another girl. And uh -huh. I'm going to need back the crown. So... <gasps> At first, this is the crazy part. At first, I thought he was joking at first. I was yes, just like, you know, sometimes like, he can know. be sarcastic. I was just like, oh. <laughs> and, but then he just stayed serious. And then I was just like, are you, are you yeah, me? I'm like, are you serious? he's serious. And then it was just like, uh, uh, uh. and I'm like, oh yes. my gosh, how am I going to face the world? Exactly. Like, I was just embarrassed. I'm like, everyone thinks that I won and I really didn't. What am I, I going to say? And, you know, know, it's just so. Oh. I remember those moments. Yeah. And something that I want to talk about today, it's about that. How do you deal with disappointment at that moment? How you uh, overcome those things and how do you deal with that um, facing people, facing your family and all the expectations from people who really love you and really they were proud. Yes. Well, that's the thing. Ultimately, the people that love you are not going to not love you anymore because of a you don't title, have a title right like I am who I am still but because of that situation and that experience it forced me to be a stronger person because of that I was a I had to you know pull up my socks and be like okay I have to face reality this is what's happened I could either choose to be a victim and just you know cry in a corner for the rest of my life or I can move forward mm -hmm. and so it ended up being just a story of being grateful that I got the moment. It was like a Cinderella story. Wow, you know, it's like you dream yeah. all your life. I really want this crown. Oh, and then I had crown. it. And it was just like, you want it, you get it. And Maybe then, you know, back. you know, at midnight, you know, like the little, like my scurry along, they're like, eh, 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 you know, and then the magic just, <laughs> just fades away. Right? But I had that moment. And so that's something that I'm very grateful for. But everything that came because of it and just dealing with the adversity, mm. it's almost like, you know, you work out, mm -hmm. you work out to get a bicep. If you don't work out, you don't get a bicep. Okay. So in life, you don't become resilient from never having anything bad happen to you, right? Okay. You only become stronger through hardships. You don't hear about people that are like really tough from not trying. Exactly. People are tough exactly. because they're going through tough things and, and it they makes try them tougher. And they fail and they fail and they fail so many times. Yes. And this is very important uh, because today's, this generation, the new generation, they are, they are not capable to deal with uh, disappointment, you know, because they are in this generation of everything is in, it's the environment generation entitlement they deserve everything and they are teaching these days these um motivators i think negative motivators that's what i said because they always tell people oh you have to think positive never negative never never when you go home just think positive positive it's good but you have to recognize that you have to deal with disappointment and once that you recognize that feeling you can deal with it in a positive way and that thing becomes your power is it well, the way or well not. I, 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 right? I agree with the importance of thinking positive because yes. if you don't come from a positive place to begin with, then you wake up in the morning, it's like, well, what's the point? Because, no. you know, whatever, right? <laughs> but no, it's, I it's, think it's important to start with that. But, but to take it so far that you can never have anything negative and it's like how dare you fail my child that isn't no it's important exactly. part of learning it's important part of growing up and developing you're never going to be motivated unless you fail exactly if you're around people that are so much better than you and you're the your last place you're going to start training that much harder so you can exactly. advance yourself. You exactly. need that motivation. That's my point when I said we have to recognize negative things. It's yeah. not that we always said negative things. No, no, no. dragging exactly. ourselves. Yeah. It's negative. No. It's the balance of life, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You always need to face being adversity. Being positive is very important because we have to teach our kids that. Yes, I 100% right? agree. They, whatever you think, whatever you conceive here in this brain is going to happen because you project that to the world and this it's coming to you. Well, it actually ultimately. goes with pageantry. So 
like for myself, when I'm competing or if I'm working with a girl and she's preparing, I always say, have the visualization, always have the focus of what you you want, of what your ultimate goal is. Because it's important to have a goal in life. You have to have a goal. You have to know what you're working towards and you want to have the most ideal situation of what you could attain. So that's what you start off with is your goal and what you visualize. And then from there, you work hard to get towards it. But you also, at the same time, you have to stay humble. Because you don't always get what you want in life. And that doesn't mean that you're a terrible person. First of all, Thomas Edison, I use this example all the time. 1,000 tries before he figured out how to get that light bulb to work. You know, failed failed, 999 times, right? But on the 1,000th try, he just, he never gave up. Most successful people in life are the people that have failed the most. So if you're willing to fail and to be like, just didn't work out that time, let's try it again. Or let's try something else. That's how you will become successful. You're willing to take the risks. You're okay with not being perfect and failing, but you're going to be stronger along the way. That's how it is. That's how it is. It's very important. It's very important to know that part. Fail is part of life. Mm -hmm. And we can teach our kids that. And it's not that you're a bad person or that you're less person. And it's not the end of the world. Yeah. yeah, but you're never a less person because you failed. It maybe wasn't your time or it wasn't what your destiny, that was in your destiny to be. And okay, one thing, we're stepping to another subject. All right. The ninja part, because we're announcing, oh my God, we have a ninja here. What is that? What is that? Tell us a little <laughs> bit about that because it's very exciting. I saw a video. Yes. I don't know, but it's, I was like, oh my God. I, I, I could get very intense. Denise Galito <laughs> can do those things. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. It was something that I started since I was eight, nine Be years old. With her. It was actually because my parents wanted to get my brother into an extracurricular. And so I was just like, oh, well, like, hello, right here. I'm a girl. I needed more. And they're like, you're doing piano already. And I'm like, yeah, but I need martial arts more. So so then afterwards, eventually they were like, okay, fine, you could do it. And I ended up sticking through right to third degree black belt. And it's given me the opportunity to be a leader because when I was... Discipline, right? And discipline as well. Like if I said I'm tired, my instructor would be like, oh, you're tired? Okay, 50 push-ups right now. <laughs> you're tired? More jumping jacks. So it's just, it forces you to be very focused and disciplined. And you know what? No pain, no gain. I became stronger because every time I thought I was tired, I actually was able to push and do more push-ups. I was able to push oh and do God. more rope climbs. So the martial arts has been a big gift in my life. The discipline, the, the perseverance. But I know I can tell your personality. Very disciplined, <laughs> intense, very <laughs> organized, very intense. Of course, you can see. <laughs> You're amazing. No, You're amazing. You. So now you get a new title. Tell us a little bit about because I know you have a baby right now. I know. And this is something that I'm like, oh my God, she have a baby, but she also went to another beauty pageant and she won it. Yeah, I so know. So you are now <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Galaxy, Galaxy Canada. Canada. 2020. Oh God. So you're going to... <laughs> I'm going to the Mrs. Galaxy, yes, yes. In July. In July, July 2020. Chicago. This is going to be a, a new adventure Stay for tuned. me. Oh. This girl, she got it all. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Cindy, we're proud of you. This is very exciting. It's very exciting. Oh. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so this pageant, the Galaxy pageant mm-hmm. system, is, is actually that? a pageant system that is very inclusive. And it's wonderful because a lot of, uh, you know, the more traditional mm-hmm. ones have an age limit. Oh, or, you know, oh, like yes. you can't be married, you can't have kids. There's a lot of different types mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. Um, limitations. Yeah, okay. constrictions that you kind of have to work mm-hmm. around if you want to compete in them. But the Galaxy pageant system says, no, if you're over 28 and you want to participate in a pageant... You go, girl, and go for it. If you're married and you have a child and you want to do a pageant, go for it. You go, girl, (laughs) right? It doesn't matter what your age, what your marital status is. It's a pageant system that accepts everybody. And it's just, I... I love it because I was crowned Mrs. Galaxy Canada, but I also have fellow queens. I have a Miss Galaxy Canada regime, oh. and I have a junior miss, and I have a preteen, and I have a I teen. Know. And when I see this so picture, nice. so it's, a, it's a range of many uh, different ages, many different type of beauties, and it's very beautiful because this is inclusive. It's a it's sisterhood. Inclusive. Yeah. It's a sisterhood. And another thing is this a platform, do you consider this a good platform to portray who you are inside of you, that beyond beauty that you have. Like, oh, absolutely. Good- oh, definitely. And a huge part of this, um, like this title is just our involvement with community and just doing That's things that are 
part of the greater good. It's mm-hmm. not just like walking around and being like, ah, I'm, I'm posing for a photo. It's important, you know, to be able to carry yourself. That's important too. Mm-hmm. But it's also about what do you do with this title? You have this gift. You've got this torch, like light up the rooms, you know, go around and That's show amazing. the amazing things that you could do. And so we've been able, like I've met, uh, I've done activities with some of the contestants for next year, like one called Holiday Helpers, where we went and we helped uh, wrap gifts for um, they for this Christmas. Yeah, so it's a volunteer organize. Well, it's an organization, mm-hmm. and they need a lot of volunteers. They have 700 families that are adopted. So these are families from poor income families that would not be able to really afford much for Christmas. Oh, wow. And they these families get an opportunity once in their lives to be selected, and they will get like basic necessities. Like every person will get a jacket and a scarf and mittens. But then they also, you know, they write their list of what they want for Christmas, and the people who adopt the families will then try and meet everything on the list. So you guys adopt families, or you, or, or you? So, so, so then, so the organization persuade. adopts the families, oh, and then after, and then all these gifts are bought. Different people will volunteer to buy gifts. Okay. And then they need volunteers to then help wrap it to deliver it there's so much that's that you can do it's it's actually wow. very touching it's really yeah touching and exciting yeah wow so can I'm you really imagine happy. a child from like a poor family that probably would not get or could barely afford food because that's actually a problem here in canada oh, too wow. we're yeah. in a first world country and there are children that are hungry and like this organization for these poor income families will adopt a, a family that wouldn't have that opportunity so and they, you guys provide some clothing some food if they yeah yeah, they, yeah oh, they, they, they start off with the basics and they give them and extras for example you you said you need volunteers right oh they so need how, how can we participate how for example how can you tell people that exactly right now you do hey. not need a crown to do it you can do this anyone could do this and uh holiday helpers just google holiday helpers and you could sign up to be a volunteer holiday helpers holiday helpers yes okay amazing organization this this year they've good. adopted 700 families wow so lots of people families. lots of wrapping but it's fun i had so much fun doing of the course. wrapping we're all there you know that it's a said that you feel more happy when you give yes than when you receive yes. and this is something that is true yes it's so true and talking more about pageantry i remember for example you know my daughters right yes and they were asking me, Mom, what is this thing about pageantry? You know, they are all, always like to just look pretty and pose and have pictures. <laughs> and then, you know what? Come and you're going to learn mm-hmm. from them. Because many of them, they have good platforms. They are smart. Yes. They are very, you know, strong women. And you will see why I would like to be here. Not only because I do makeup or this thing. is because I know more about them. Yes. And I admire how they're young but they still have these dreams and they are pursuing the, their dreams yes. through this platform. Mm-hmm. And they have, many of them are very entrepreneurial. They have their own businesses online. They have, you know, this charity well, program. My first roommate from one of my first pageants, craziest, she's amazing. So she is a doctor slash astronaut. She like works for NASA, wow. but she's a physician at this. Like she's so cool. I love every time I see her on face. I'm just like I love, I love, but I love, look, I love. You are a scientist too. Well, that's the thing. I also have a passion as well for science, health sciences, like biochemical sciences, like. A lot of queens, if you read their backgrounds, it's pretty impressive. There's it's lawyers, impressive. doctors. It and, is extremely impressive. Yeah. And this is why when she was getting involved, as she was growing like in the pageantry, she was like, mom, it's very like, oh my God, this is amazing how I can learn from them. She admire and she talks to them and she learn what they're doing. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing mm-hmm. how smart they are and how well, powerful, how she got they're well something rounded. to give. Yeah. Right? Yes. Right? Very, very, very professional and very driven. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to eat the world. They are ready to eat the world. They have the age. You guys have everything. Oh, my God. This is amazing. The world is our oyster. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, but that's a very good point you just made about we have the age. Because a pageant gives someone at a younger age a platform to start doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. There's, like, some other quotes that, you know, that sometimes the youth is wasted on the young. Meaning people are like, they're youthful. They have all this young life, but then they waste it. They're like, ah, you know, but that's okay. I'll just, you know, (laughs) play video games, which is fine. But, but if you have the youth and like, you have that young life, do something with it. And pageants will give you that, right? You have a crown and it's just like, oh my gosh, I have to do something now. I have have to to, do something. Right. And now it's just, let's go out. Let's go into the community. Let's 
do amazing work and it happens because this gives you that motivation that's awesome yeah it does so yeah. we're coming back we're going to talk about miss universe we're going to talk about what happened last night if you watch miss universe let's share something with us okay come back after commercials <laughs> Sabemos que tu casa es tu mayor inversión. Marcela Cano, Carlos Zuluaga. Si quieres vender o comprar, tu casa es nuestra prioridad. Para mayor información, 647-297-0506 y 647-404-2171. La Comunidad Cristiana y Delán Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esa hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. Obleas and Waffles to Go se prepara para darte lo mejor, pero para esta Navidad encuentra nuestras anchetas navideñas con arequipe, strawberry jam, blackberry jam y las famosas obleas de Obleas and Waffles to Go. Próximamente les contaremos en dónde vamos a estar ubicados. Contáctanos y haz tu pedido. And we are back. <laughs> this is exciting, exciting. So we have people over here. We, if you have questions for Denise, we are open to answer all your questions. I know you're watching right now. We have 500 people connected. And please, we have the girl here. So <laughs> ask your questions to the ninja. <laughs> okay, yesterday, last night, we had our new Miss Universe. We are very happy with this girl. She's from South Africa. Yes. And I know you watched the pageant with Cindy and all the crew of the galaxy. <laughs> I know the pic I saw the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are in a world that is, uh, we were talking about this before when we were in commercials, that this world, these days, is very inclusive. We have diversity, we have inclusivity, and we have more and more and more. Every year, the girls are very smart. Mm -hmm. and very smart than the other years and the other years. So what do you think about that, Denise, about this winning, about this girl? Because she got all the answers, like, nail it. She, she did it. Oh, she, she made it. solid. <gasps> Miss Universe, after this, uh, this new revamp and um, their new question periods one after another after another and that's what determines semi-finalists and finalists and tops and I think it's amazing because <laughs> anyone could be beautiful everyone's beautiful everyone you know you could do your hair your makeup you could smile but what is there beyond that and that's what Miss Universe is looking for now it's they it's beyond exactly like how are you going to use your voice what are you going to do with this title and and it's amazing it's spectacular. when she was saying, in my country, used to be a place when women with my color and with this type of haircut, like something that I have similar, what I have right now, used to be not pretty, not beautiful. She didn't use the, the word ugly, but she said, we, not, we used not to be pretty if we look this way. So she was very, uh, I really like the confidence yes, she projects. She was very confident. Every time they, they ask questions, she was very like answering the questions. Like she got everything on and she was like, yeah, they, they, they like not beautiful. But now this is who I am. And I want every child when they see me to project themselves in me. Yes. That was so powerful. Oh no, it's beautiful. And the, the fact that she spoke with such confidence, I confidence. found every time she spoke, I'd watch her and I'm like finding her even more and more beautiful. More beautiful. Yeah. Oh, she God. just looked more beautiful each time she's answering because there's something so humble about oh, her as well. And genuine. 
Oh, yeah, she's very genuine. Yes. That's what I said. Oh, yes. my God, this woman, she's, oh, my God. She's that gold. inside beauty that was coming thing. out. Like, it was shining. And so this just looked even better because and we saw it. And this is our subject beyond beauty. It's not only because she's pretty. It's not only because she got makeup or a beautiful dress. You see what she got? Oh, my God. And the final answer. Do you remember what she said? Exactly. Well, well, they had a couple of different questions. Okay, the other question was about a climate. Change. Yeah, one was climate change. And it was amazing because she was inviting people to be the change. Well, that's the thing, right? That's I really thing. liked how she said that. Like, yeah, our leaders could be doing more, but uh, we could be doing more. <laughs> Stop pointing fingers at other people. Exactly. What can you do yourself? Yeah. And there's so many things that we could do from, you know, going outside, cleaning up garbage, you know, advocating for less uh, uh, plastics or less printing exactly uh, or even what you buy every time you buy you are casting your vote that you want more of that stuff exactly. so i'm spending money i'm casting the vote that i want more of that so by what you're choosing to buy you're also having that influence so every single Correct. person those decisions have a large impact and it's amazing she said it very very you know oh she was amazing natural yes when she said like ah, yeah leaders can do a lot and I know many kids are raising their voice and everything, yes. but you know what? Everything starts from you. Every individual has the responsibility yes. to care about this climate mm -hmm. and this world. That was like, oh my God, no, I this it, girl yeah. is powerful. Yes. No, she and then is. the last one was about leadership. What do you think about how do you, what was your message to yes. girls? in this generation and when we're talking about oh, that she's I'm, like what do you think and she was like i think we are we have a lot in leadership yes i 100 leadership agree. well you look at um look at businesses and you see mm -hmm. that the predominant uh, high position roles are still being held by males right minima i mean wage gaps there's a, a different uh a variant in wages between men and women exactly. doing the exact same job so there's definitely variances that are happening and a lot of females are being taught to grow up to just be passive don't exactly. question don't question authority and she said you find the place in this society and you have to take it and own it and it's like take up most, space i love take how she said space. take up space take yeah. up space in this yeah. world i'm like wow yeah. girl girl <laughs> no she was so good you get it girl oh She's my amazing. god yeah, oh very, my god i'm really happy i am very happy with this because yes. this is a change yes and i think miss universe is going to have another perspective from every point of view right so i'm like oh my god this is amazing we also want to say thank you to Ali alisa because she, she oh, did a great alisa, job representing canada amazingly. amazingly so proud thank of her you. and we are proud of yes. you alisa <laughs> because <laughs> i know how hard is this for you guys and she worked so hard she works really yes. hard she yes. was there every single minute to prepare herself to be there and well that that's the amazing. thing with being on stage people only see the, those 30 seconds those that you know one minute of a speech they only see these little final glimpses they don't see the years of training and hours Sacrifices. and hours that go through to get to that point to be that best version of you at that moment exactly you don't see all of that extra work that goes behind the scenes those years of work <laughs> all we see is just the final product exactly and she's worked so hard for it so, so hard congratulations so proud of you Alyssa. congratulations we are very very proud of you mm -hmm. and this yeah this girl we have a new miss universe and we are very happy about it so this is this is something that is related to what uh, Denise does because she's also a um, illustrator. Oh, so yes. her husband, Scott, amazing guy. You need to meet him in another program. <laughs> <laughs> they both write uh, books, and I remember a book particularly, and is related with what we're talking about, which is uh, I can, I can, and I did it. So Scott gave that book to my daughter, Sophia. She really appreciates that because she's a very positive and very how can self-driven and person and she really likes that book. It's something that she really have it in a special place. And tonight she said, Oh my god, mom, I need them to sign it for me. <laughs> Forgot. So, but I want we'll to talk about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that signed. <laughs> I want to talk about that because I really like the story about this girl um, having a mad problem, not solving, and she always said, oh, I try, I try, I try, and I can't. And it's very nice because she said, I try it, and I try it, and I can't. And this is what happened these days. When you have a business, when you have a relationship, when you have a marriage, when you have a goal, 
you try, 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 and you said, definitely I, I can't. But the grandfather was telling the girl, okay, if you said so, you can't. Yeah. And then she was like, what? <laughs> she I was can't? like, what? Because <laughs> usually you expect like the parents to be like, oh, no, no honey. Oh, you. no, no. And he's like, uh-uh. You don't? He, yeah, he wasn't it's reading right. into it. And so it really is state of mind. <laughs> and and it, this is all about the mindset that you have. And if you think you can, you can. If you think you can, you do. Mm -hmm. So the, the mind doesn't recognize if it's negative or positive. It only works in what you believe, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about this book, because I think it's something that portrays your personality and Scott's personality. I really like it. Well, it definitely, it's, uh, Scott describes it best. It's like a book about the law of attraction for children. So you attract what you believe in. Law and of attraction. Exactly. And so if you believe you could do something, then you can. Doesn't matter how many times you fail. Remember Thomas Edison? Yes. But if you truly believe you can, you persist enough, you could make it happen or, or all of a sudden like you're deviated to where you're supposed to be. Um, and if you believe you can't, well, then 100% you you're not going to make it happen because you're not going to put in the effort. So That's true. it's truly, so we tried to put it in a simpler word, you, you know, you're doing a math problem, you're struggling with your math problem. And if you really see it through, you could actually do it. I, I now you just triggered another memory. My dad <laughs> growing up um, always told me that math was easy. And so when I was in school, I'd be like, I can't like, I just go bananas. I'm like, it's so hard. It just, I don't understand those teachers. And he was just like, well, you're just not pushing yourself enough. And I'm like, wow. what? And he's like, yeah, it's not hard. You could figure it out as long as you push yourself enough. And I'm like, I already pushed myself enough. And he's like, you didn't push enough. You didn't push hard enough, harder. And I'm like, okay, I'll push harder. So you push so harder that you became scientist. And that's because the thing. For math science, science became math. Yeah. Math and science became one of my absolute strengths because I developed a belief that I could figure it out if I push myself enough, if I spend enough time at it. Like, not just being like, okay, I'm spending time at it and I'm like, you know, like scrolling <laughs> on whatever, but I'm actually diligently trying to figure it out that's and then amazing. eventually figure it out. And that's why it served me. Yeah. Very proud of you, Denise, because you are certainly the girl who can do many things. Imagine she's a black belt, she has two titles. She's a uh, motivational speaker. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And then she also have a baby. How can you juggle all these things together, having a baby? <laughs> huh? that's, Amazing. That's He's gorgeous. That's team, right? It, it's a team Support effort. Support system. It's, exactly. Having the people in your life. Uh, you are the average of the five people you spend most time with. And if you surround yourself with people that uplift you, that support you, that help bring out the best in you and will love you and appreciate you no matter what, and they want for you what you want for yourself, then they will bring out the best in you. And, be, and the only reason I have this on today is because, because of my mom. family. Because they were there with me. They had the baby. Like, they were my rock. So I'm just... <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Oh, thank you very much, Denise, for sharing all those things. And I really want to talk about that um, motivational speaking. You are a speaker and you motivate girls and kids and, at schools. Tell us a little bit about that. How do you feel when you um, bring the best from someone? Yeah, so for me, it's um, I always think of it as if I were that person at that age, I would want someone to tell me this. What right? ages you are, uh, what's any, your target or what's, or how, how would this work? Really any age. I did some volunteer at my old high school, especially with um, some struggling math. High schoolers? Math. Yeah, high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so at some mm. high schools uh, with struggling math and science students. And one thing that many of them had kind of given up on was that same belief system that it's just it's just too hard I'm just never I'm never going to be above a 50% student I'm never going to be above a 60% student they have this belief system and a lot of their teachers were telling them the same thing you know you're just not you just don't have it in you to really do well in the subject so just just Give up. make it pass enough and then just you're done right and wow. I have a very different mentality so when I would go in and I'd be working with these students I tell them no you can 100% do this if you stick at it I mean if you don't want it then that's fine then you're not going to be yeah. able to figure it out but if you stick at it you could achieve anything you could be more than a 60% student I had a student who was a oh, wow. and he finished with like an high 80s there was another yeah. student who was in 
who every teacher would kick him out of the classroom over and over and over because oh. he, he would go in. He hated and the teachers. The teachers hated him. And then he would just like leave and wouldn't come back. to. He was like failing a lot of his classes. And when I went into this class to work with this one boy, I would sit down with him. And at first he was just like, he didn't want to really interact at all. And then I was just like, it's okay. Like, okay, let me write the answers. You just tell me what to write and I'll write your answers for you. <laughs> Eventually I broke through him and he started really taking it on with pride of his own. And this boy who was failing almost every class was actually, um, his teacher told me that she had selected him for the math award that year. Oh my God. So, from so this is a testimony of this girl. So this is a testimony of what you can do when you really want to help people, when you really want to share you never know. what you have inside and you never know when or who you're going to impact yes. in a positive way. Yes. This is something that I always tell people because sometimes some girls come and ask me things like, what can I do if I am a queen? What, what, what can I do? And I'm like, you know what, girl? The main thing you have to think about as a human is like if you are here in this world, you have to impact someone in a positive way. I don't know how, I don't know with what, but whatever you have good, try to make an impact. Well, exactly. Yeah. Leave the world better than you came exactly. into it. Like, mm -hmm. And it could be with one person. You know, do something nice for that one person. That person could have been a depressed person and you took mm. the time to go talk to them and all of a sudden they felt like they mattered. Exactly. Like little actions. And another thing is never think they everything everybody owes you something or the world owes me or I deserve everything and what is in it for me or if I do this, what is in it for me? Like always try to take something from every situation. It's better to think, what can I do for someone else? Mm -hmm. What can I do in this situation to make this thing better? Yes. At your work, at your school. And it's like, I, I don't know, for me it's simple, but I know many people are not thinking about it. And it's very good to like just... Well, just like South Africa, don't wait on your government. What can you leaders. do, mm -hmm. right? Don't wait on the leaders. What can you do? You be that change. Be the change. You be the change. Don't wait on someone be else the because change. the other person may never come. Um, you might be the only other person. Okay, right? so we're going to commercials in a minute. Uh, we're going to keep talking with uh, Denise a little bit more. And we want you to continue participating in a, in a contest that we have right now, which is if you share this program and you tag three people, you enter to participate in Extreme Look Change. What is this? So that includes haircut if you need it, color if you need it, a clothing from a brand or a designer, and then makeup. It's gonna be a makeup class, it's a self makeup class, but makeup application too, and one uh, professional photo. So wow. enter to win because yeah. this is your opportunity to have your Christmas because the winner is gonna be announced on December 16th. Anna, is gonna be December 16th? Yes. Perfect. So. Keep sharing, you have the opportunity. So we're going to commercials. In the meantime, we're going to commercials. You can share this program, okay? So see you in a minute. Share, 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 share. share, share. share. <laughs> Mi nombre es Mariana Santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en Canadá. En mi compañía se llama Santos y Ana Associates Immigration Inc. Hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración. Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados, en la esquina de Kirk y Wilson, con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Hablando entre mujeres, tu programa que es diseñado para toda mujer que le gusta avanzar, que está esperando mucho más allá de ser tú misma. Hablando entre mujeres todos los días martes a las 7 de la noche, acompáñanos a tener una noche amena. So for you that you're listening, Hablando entre mujeres, Talking Between Women is the program you want to belong. Just come every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and we'll be gladly give you some details about women empowerment.
And we're back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have some questions for Denise. She got a girl over here. Can you uh, answer the question for her, my dear? Yep. So it's from Yenna's latest Perez Dickinson. Okay. So her question was, hi, Denise, I want to ask how it feels now that you're a super mom and a queen and the voice for so many women who are also moms that you could follow your dreams and be an example for your community and your kids. So for me, it's uh, to be an example for your community and your kids. It's it's what you do. It's, it's pretty much what you just wrote. You are the example. Everything that you do every moment of your day, your kids are watching. Other people are watching. And... So what do you want them to learn? Because they're learning. And so do you want them to be, to, to do things that are out of the box, try out for a pageant, then do it, go and pursue it because then they're gonna be the ones that are also gonna be like, you know what, why not? Let's just go for it. Because if you go for it, then you've increased your possibilities of attaining it. If you say, mm, maybe not, <laughs> then you've decreased your possibilities of attaining exactly. it. So exactly. yes. Uh, if you have any dream or aspiration, go for it because that's the example you're gonna be teaching your children and even other people around you that may have never thought about doing something like that themselves. And they probably have the potential and just exactly. haven't pursued it. And you might be that inspiration for them to pursue it that's as well. That's true, because yeah. you are the first example for your kids. Mm -hmm. This is this is no matter what, whatever you do, it's something they're gonna watch. Yes. Even if you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> they see you. Okay. So for the last part of our program, I wanted to pick two questions from these brushes. This is the brush. Oh, questions. Two okay. questions. Okay. All right. All right. Da, 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 da. I'll just pick it. I like this yeah. one. This one's <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> biggest fear. Oh, biggest fear. You know what? A lot has changed after become a mom. And um, I've realized that some of the most important things in life are things that I didn't realize were so important. Actually, you were kind of talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. health, health, you know, your health, health of yourself, health of your loved ones. That's one of the greatest gifts that you could have. And I think it's just, yeah, if you don't have it, like it, it's a scary thing. Like my baby, if he starts coughing, I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And so I, I become a little bit more fearful about things that I took for granted before. Trust um, me. Yeah, so that's for definitely. me, it's something that it is the same. I share the same. I was, yeah, we were talking about that <laughs> before the program. Health, health is the one of the. I think is the most important thing that a human can have, because otherwise, if you don't have that, it's going to be almost impossible to pursue what you want. Even though so many people with illnesses and you know disabilities, they do amazing things. Oh yes, they, oh, they don't God. let it hold them down. No, yeah. they have amazing minds. Yes. Like for example, I don't know if you remember, I had an interview with this girl, Tracy, the unstoppable Tracy. Oh no, I didn't see it. She's an amputee person okay. from both four mm -hmm. extremities. Yes. And she is a motivator. She's a speaker. Amazing. She provides like um, empowering for companies. She's a corporate uh speaker coach. wow coach. amazing and uh, when you see her you realize oh my god what do you need mm -hmm. we don't we have everything i know and, and she's so amazing yeah i'm gonna show i'll show you her her uh, website she's she's awesome so last question my dear so okay. you got this one and well, actually, you're no, about I'm gonna to base close. it off what i think is pretty <laughs> I, I like this one all right next project well, <laughs> as we know, I have an international competition coming up, so you know. that's part of like my next project is preparing for the International Galaxy pageant, but also just making the most out of this title currently, right? Um, I was talking to another fellow queen, Angel Batal, who's Miss Global Canada right now, oh, and wow. she um, was saying that she wants to do as much as she can with this title. It's a platform. We're given this gift. Like I said, it's a torch. Light up the room. It's light up flag. everywhere you go. Do what you can with it. You have one year with it, and then it's done. Own it. Don't look back with regret. And so that's what I feel. I have this year. I have... So many great opportunities. I've been meeting so many wonderful people along the way. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, well, and just the fellow contestants and contestants for night. Like, just amazing people. I've been really enjoying the process. So <laughs> my, my next project is actually an ongoing project right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I forgot something that I wanted to do it when we start the program, but I want to do it right now. Okay. Which is 
uh, singing a happy birthday to you because your birthday was yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, my baby. Thank if you. If you have this song, it's okay. If not, I just want to tell you happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Denise. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do it at the beginning, but at the end, it's like closing. You know, it's a grand finale. It's now. a grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Denise. Um, thank you very much for being here. Thank Honestly, you so much. Honestly, was thank a very you. nice talk. We had um amazing and empowering a chat today I, I enjoyed our chat i think it was a very right? both was... always you know good company really helps yeah it was very nice chat thank I you i always enjoy seeing me. you every year also in this universe because i know you are the girl you are the core of this uh training and you know all the things that they have to, but you listen to them you are that person for them mm -hmm. i really like that because you are amazing well, like I said, I always try to be that person that if I'm in their shoes, I wish I'd have someone to lean on and someone to listen, and they love listen you. to me. And, they yeah. love you. <laughs> I can tell. Look how many people are connected. You see? Oh, look at the hellos. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Regine. Thank you. Thank you for the yeah, birthday say wishes. Thank you. Before thank we you. leave, we can say thank you to all of them. <laughs> thank you. Jennifer. Cindy, say something to your queen. <laughs> Cindy. Cindy, where yeah. are you? <laughs> She's amazing. How do you feel with Cindy? Cindy's an amazing person. She's so powerful. Oh, I know. Strong. And she's oh, doing wow. such an amazing job with the galaxy pageant, mm, with all God. of us. So Honestly? involved. Yeah. I know. Wow. <laughs> like, Cindy, and you're doing amazing. Yes, absolutely. And we're all enjoying the ride. Like, it's a great team, family. It's very I nice. see it like a family. Yeah. Okay. What, baby? You have a question. Eh, no, I just eh, <laughs> quiero decir gracias y quiero invitar también a todas las personas. Este domingo 15 de diciembre va a estar presente Dos en Línea TV haciendo la cobertura. I can, I can say it. Ok, dilo. Quería no, cor... no, no. En español para que la gente lo oiga en español. Este domingo 15 de diciembre vamos a estar eh, haciendo la cobertura de Latina Business Ladies. Eso mismo, así son todas las mujeres empresarias, van a estar allá reunidas y nosotros vamos a estar presentes también contigo como oradora. <laughs> Qué bien, qué felicidad, congratulations. Thank you so much. I totally forgot about it before we close. We want to invite all of you girls, ladies in business. This is a new a program called Latinas Business Ladies. So they invite me to be a speaker. Thank you so much for trusting me. Thank you so much for your, um, how can I say, your love and thinking of me. So I'm going to be there. It's going to be December 15. Uh, the place is, is called Con Art. It's in downtown. You can find it online, Con Art, like Canada, C-A-N-A-R-T, Con Art. This is the place where the uh, conference will take place. So I will be there in Dos en Línea. We are going to cover the event. Okay, so don't forget December 15, 12 p.m. And this is going to be amazing because we have amazing speakers. I am honored to have these ladies around me. You know who's going to be there? One of the organizers is Casey Sayago. I don't know if you remember her, Miss Venezuela. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow, nice. She's a strong woman. She's another smart girl. Yeah. She was my first guest in this program. Oh, when I started wow. this program, she was awesome. the first guest. Three months ago, and, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was here, and she's a, also engineer. She's a wow. uh, mechanical engineer. Beauty so, and brains. Beauty and brains, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Don't judge these girls like, oh my, she's only pretty and she must be like It dumb. has to be the whole package. <laughs> it's the whole package. Right? Yeah. Because I see those memes when they said, oh, look, those answers of those beauty queens. Of course, they took, of course, they have a compilation of people who said stupid things, but come on. No. All of them. No, not all of them are like that, right? We just proved that. We just proved that. I know. We're, I said, we're well rounded. They proved that. Now, now we, because I'm not a queen. <laughs> yes, you are. You are a queen. Everyone is a queen. You don't need to have like an actual metal I'm a crown. Queen at we home. all have our own invisible crown. In my crowns. house. <laughs> oh, she has a metal. There we go. <laughs> I have a crown. Look. <laughs> well, actually, that's good. It's just, you just need some like gems in there. Too. I need my little rhinestones over here, but I have a crown. Look. Glitz it I up. have, you know what I did this today? Because it looks like the South Africa. 
style South ah. Africa girl. Look at Oh, look, I have a crown. Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. Okay, thank you, Denise. I think we had an amazing talk, like I said. Thank you. And I wish to invite you again. Look, who, who else is here? Oh, happy birthday, Lisa. Thank you, Havana. Ah, okay, it's the time to say bye. I feel sad because I have to say bye to my baby here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, the crown. The crown. This is the real crown. And we need the picture. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Can you? Ah? Okay. Okay, we're going to pick the crown <laughs> in a minute because we need a picture. But thank you very much for being here with us, okay? Don't forget to share the program. Don't forget to participate in the contest. And we are back next Monday. 8 p.m. is going to be our appointment, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. en Línea TV, tu nueva opción en radio online. Síguenos en redes sociales como Dos en Línea TV. Porque dos es mejor que uno. Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos Dos en Línea. Dos en Línea TV, la nueva propuesta de radio digital.